this is good, this is good, this is good, this is so good. Now I've got to, I've got to figure out how to make more dimes. <laughs> that was my first inkling of the, the Batman that I learned to love. Well, I think like so many people, my first exposure was uh, the Adam West uh, Batman. Woo! Everybody just uh, loved, and the show with that incredible cast, Adam and Burt Ward and Lee Merriweather and Cesar Romero and Frank Borshin and Eartha Kitt. I mean, it was incredible. The cast was incredible. And um, that was my first exposure to it. And uh, then when I was brought in just as an actor, to audition for a new show. I didn't even know it had never been a show as an animated show. Um, Bruce Tim had to bring me up to speed on the Dark Knight legacy. I didn't know about the sort of noir quality of it, the darkness, the, the grittiness, the, the murder of his parents as a child. And um, I was just a New York actor in a booth and they gave me this situation and because I felt no pressure, because I knew nothing about any of this world, I just improvised on the spot. And as I was putting myself in the mind of that seven-year-old watching his parents killed in front of him, I just went to a place in my voice that it just... And it was just this dark, warm, describe it. Safe zone for me to be in. And that's how I discovered what I thought to be the soul of that man. It was through that tragedy of his childhood. I was allowed to read uh, Master Eats, Tan Tan, and Lucky Luke, but not anything that was American. Um, so anyway, uh, when we moved to the States, uh, I, the first thing I saw was actually um, the movie version of Batman with Miss Kitka over here. And uh, I was overwhelmed. I didn't know, because there's no laugh track. I didn't know if I was supposed to laugh or, or take it seriously. Even the bat... Uh, shark repellent. Because <laughs> I was eight, I was so confused. It was like, what's happening right now? Um, but I really loved the show. I used to watch it all the time, and I, I really, truly loved it. I will say one thing about Batman that is amazing. It's the best part ever. Uh, I think it's the best part anyone could ever play. Uh, the fact that I got my chance to play him is really amazing to me. It's better than Hamlet, it's better than anything, really, because uh, because of what Kevin was just saying, like, there are so many different ways that you can perceive Batman. Um, so many different stories within the way it can be told. Uh, so many different ways that he is perceived by other people, by creative uh, writers, by yourselves. Um, he is the, it's the greatest part. You know, I remember being uh, backstage, I had one line in Hamlet. Um, it was, uh, the, he goes, what, oh, where are my Switzers? And I say, here. <laughs> so I had to wait for three hours. <laughs>